Hello everyone and welcome back to Gecko Kujo. Now I do apologize sincerely for the lack of content over the weekend as I have been having a few issues sleeping so I did need to catch up on those a little bit. So now we are back to recording in a rather rotational schedule for now at least. I am hoping to increase the load at which I can actually upload videos shortly so we will take a look at seeing about that soon. Now hopefully we'll be able to take the last Kaga Iki Fief. Oh, perhaps not. <laughs> well, that is rather amazing. Okay, well, as you can see here, these tracks right here were mine and I traveled all the way up here because I noticed that Lord Oda has not actually awarded Matsukura Castle to anyone and I was hoping that he may give it to us as he has already awarded Toyama Castle and Kasuguyama Castle to different vassals. One of them, of course, being me in the case of Kasuguyama, so that is very, very nice of him. And I was hoping that Matsukura would perhaps be us as well. Now, I do have a new army, which I have somewhat recruited and trained up a little bit. I am not entirely sure whether they will be up to the job of defeating, yeah, rather a lot of vassals. So I'm thinking they're probably heading to Matsukura to siege it. So maybe we can get a nice defense of this fief going. So let's recruit some volunteer. Oh, yeah, I can only get one. That's great. Okay, well, let's wait here for some time and see what they decide to do. Yes, they have actually besieged it. So we will actually see now whether they think it's a good idea to pursue this avenue. I am hoping not, but again, I am actually hoping as well that they will. And we're going to reject that, yes. Okay, so I believe, yes, here we go. Ah, oh, no, they chased them off. Okay, well, there's some script errors, which will probably be fixed for the final version of this mod. Now, let's see here. Great Lord Oda and Lord Maeda, they have come to assist us. Now... They obviously ran away a little bit. Okay, what's this? Oh! Oh, okay, Lord Akechi. He has actually been awarded Matsukura Castle, so I don't actually have to worry about garrisoning it now, I suppose. Which is very good. I'm hoping we can actually take these guys. We should. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 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 oh! They're actually going into siege it! And... Whoa. Okay, that was quick. They took it from us. Yeah, I probably should have stayed in there, shouldn't I? Okay, I'm rusty. I do apologize. Okay, I think we may actually just go in here. Let's see. Yeah, let's just do it. Why not? Let's go. We can do it. Bruce, the odds are not in your favor today. You may fight us, but there is also no shame if you yield now. We'll fight you to the end. Okay, they have a hundred more troops than we actually have. So, yeah, we may have some issues. Now I have actually taken advice from the comments and reduced my gamma a little bit to make it so the colors are enriched a little bit and maybe stand out a little more compared to before rather than looking washed out. They may look a little bit more vibrant maybe. So tell me what you think. Now the only problem of course with having a low gamma is I'm actually not able to see anything at night which is somewhat irritating, I have to admit. But I'm hoping that you guys can actually see something, because I do actually apply a brightness filter to this when it is at night, and just generally, actually, because Mountain Blade does not necessarily have the greatest brightness options. So, yeah, usually I apply a filter and hope that actually makes a difference, and we are actually getting a few kills now, yes. Now, how many cavalry do we have? Not a lot. So I'm just going to put them off to the side here, and if these guys charge in, we will then charge in to counter them. Yes. Okay, I think we're probably going to go in now. Cavalry charge, yes, and infantry charge. Go, go. I think we'll just leave the archers here to do their job. And we've got some archers there as well. Okay, let's do some damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I missed this Naganata. Naganata is amazing. Yes. There we go. 
Doing some pretty serious damage there, and yes, it does look rather dark for me, actually. So, I am going to increase it. With the magic of editing, you will most likely see a little jump cut here. Okay, so there we go. What do you think now? I think it's a lot better, at least, at night. I think probably during the day, a lower gamma is much better, as it looks a lot less washed out, I would think. Now... Let us do this. Yes. Go on. Let's do some more slashing. Oh yeah, we're actually doing a very nice job. Considering I haven't played this mod for a rather sizable amount of time. And I do apologize yet again for that. I did not mean it to be this long. By any means. But real life sometimes interferes. And that is rather a shame, of course. <laughs> But now we are back, and I'm hoping that I can create somewhat high quality content like I used to. And we will hopefully win this battle. Yes. We seem to be doing a pretty decent job, actually. I haven't been hit once, apart from at the beginning where I was grazed for zero damage a little bit by an arrow. Yes, okay, well, it seems we are actually running them over rather quickly, and that makes me a very surprised panda. Yes, it does. Oh, there we are. Okay, now we are taking the damage. Yes, okay, maybe a good idea for me not to stop, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes, note to self, please do remember not to stop in the middle of some spearmen. That might be good. Okay, but there we are. We get a lot of bodies on the battlefield, and it appears... We are victorious, with four enemies remaining, two enemies remaining now. And I believe this is the last enemy. And he's going to get taken down any second. Oh yes, that was an elite Naganata monk as well. Okay. Well, there we go. Our first battle back, everyone, yes. <laughs> okay, so that gave us 11 renown and 18 morale. Oh, okay, so we haven't actually defeated them entirely. But they soon will know the jaws of defeat closing in. Yes. Let's do it. Come on, guys. Oh, I'm hoping that... Hmm. Yeah, I think we should probably hold our position just here until we feel it is a good idea to charge in. Even though they have a rather reduced force, I don't really want to lose any more of my troops. As you can see, we did actually lose 18 in the previous battle. So I'm hoping that we can prevent the casualties in this particular skirmish. Yes, it seems as though they do have rather low tier units, so I believe we can probably charge in and sustain not too many. And that guy parried me. I applaud him. Yes. <laughs> Although I suppose it isn't too difficult to parry me in particular. Okay, yeah, I'll take that guy down. Oh, I was hoping to take down the elite. Oh well. I will have to settle for the Pilgrim itself. And there we are. I don't know what I was worried about. Yes. My companions are telling Bruce not to worry so much, but... Yes, he knows it was my decision all along, of course. And now they start to escape. Which is rather a shame. But we're going to take him prisoner. His relation is very low. Anyway. So, there we go. Now we can capture a few enemies. Oh, yes. Let's do that. Okay. There we go. Now... Let's take a few of these. Now, I'm actually gaining quite a lot of money. For whatever reason, I only have 5,000 on me at the moment. Oh, yes. I did actually receive wages, and wages were deducted just before I started recording. And, ooh, we could actually take this guy on. Should I? Hmm, we are at war with them, so we could potentially do it. Although... I would like to take the fief back, which would be quite nice. Hmm. I'm not too sure, but yes, as I was saying, I did actually receive the wages before I started recording, and they gave me 4,000 in profit, so I was really happy with that. Now, I believe that is actually paid into the treasury, so I may have to get some out if I want to upgrade any further units, at least very expensive units. As we speak, there aren't really very many expensive units, though, which is very nice, I must say. And we meet him again, apparently. Aha, he has a minus one relation, so I suppose we did 
fight him once before. And we have 103 troops versus his 57. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether I want to capture this fellow or release him on the spot, as it would be quite nice to get some cash, although we are not doing too bad on that front, as I have just said. Yeah, we are gaining in profit every time now that Kasuguyama is under our control. And I think what we must try to do now, as some of the comments previously when I have mentioned this subject have been mostly leaning towards me creating my own faction, or at least Bruce creating his own faction, and I... Not entirely sure. I did actually think it would be pretty cool to be part of the Yoda clan, but most of you said that you would prefer to see Bruce's own clan, so I'm happy to go with the majority on that. Now, we did actually charge in here without me really realizing that we we're charging in, but that's fine. Now, the goal for actually starting our own faction is of course to have a very large army and that is mainly why I am fighting a lot of vassals and getting a lot of renown rewards as obviously that would enable us to get a bigger army. Of course leadership also has a rather drastic effect on that but I believe if we look at the character screen here I have five leadership. Yes, so five leadership and I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to increase my charisma I probably will to get some more prisoner management, but at the moment it's not really a priority, so Renown is really the only way I can increase my army size. So that is pretty much the plan for now at least. Gain as much Renown as possible and then when I have maybe around 200 in my army, it may be a good time to branch off and make our own, and I believe one of your suggestions in the comments was the Beartield Clan, which is actually rather poignant, I must say, so I may indeed go with that name. We will see when we get round to it, but that is quite a strong contender. Now, let's see, yes, leave the items. We've collected all we can from there. They are running, I will allow them to do so. And I believe we're going to take back Matsukura Castle. So I'm just wondering why the Oda vassals haven't actually come back here to retake it, as it is very easy to take, as we've shown in the past. Okay, here we go. Now, we did actually declare war against pretty much every faction, apart from the factions we are friends with, which is, I think, two or three, so... Yes, okay, so this is rather snowy by the looks of things, yes. Okay, so let's charge, guys, come on. We have our spears, our naganatas, we have our bows, we have our muskets. Oh, yes, okay, now I'm going to place my archers outside here so they don't really stand on the ladder and block the infantry too much. And I believe George is already up there. Or is he? I'm not entirely sure. He does have a musket. So he may actually have sniped someone. Very nice. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, guys. Now, my main plan when I started this recording a few minutes ago was to rid the world of the Kagaiki clan, which I was attempting to do. However, the, <laughs> the Oda clan actually declared peace with them just before I was about to start recording, so I had to make my way to the Matsukura castle just to check out what was going on there, and then they declared war again, so it is very nice for right to rule and everything, but it does leave you quite confused, yes. Okay, so there we go. We have requested it that it be awarded to us, very nice. And now we can speak to Gonosuke and level him up. Oh, yes. Okay, so I believe I was specking into strength, which may indeed be a mistake, but at the moment I don't really know what else to do, as his power strike is four. It would be nice if he could get five in that. So hopefully one more level, that will be accomplished. Yes. So let's level these guys up, and then we will take... 
the fight to the Kagaiki clan again down here, which is actually their last fief. So let us traverse the terrain and hopefully get there before they rejuvenate. Oh, there is actually a Kagaiki vassal there I wouldn't mind taking out. Hmm. Yes. I would like to. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. 